Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Port Orleans Resort. This resort actually recently reopened and I wanted to come out, give you guys the grand tour, show you some of my favorite things about it, and then also take a stroll over to French Quarter to eat some Mickey beignets and maybe a cup of gumbo. Anywho's, let's go do this. We're gonna start our day right here at Port Orleans Riverside. And it also looks like they put up Christmas decorations. I believe this opened up in October and it's November now. So it's been open for just about a month and uh, I'm finally happy that I've been able to come out and see it and also get the Mickey beignets. I've been craving those. The funny thing is, is I've never stayed at this resort. I've never stayed at Riverside or French Quarter, but I feel like this resort is probably the resort I've hung out the most at. Like I've made so many memories here, hanging out with friends and just enjoying the resort amenities. And it's nice to be back. Like I said, it's, it's very awesome. Here is a bunch of the Christmas garland uh, near the Porter Corche, and as we actually make our way into the lobby, it looks like they got the Christmas tree up as well. And yep, it looks like the Christmas tree is up, looking as beautiful as always. I really, really do love it in here. I've had so many fond memories of coming here to the River Roost, seeing Yeehaw Bob or playing Disney trivia with a bunch of friends, and it was always a great time. I, I like I said, I really do love this resort. I really, I want to stay here one day. One day, maybe I'll bring Gracie and we'll do like a vlog uh, staying here. But for today, I think we're just going to show you the grounds, the different places to get something to eat, and just a little bit of my favorite about the resort. The River Roost here inside Port Orleans is one of the all-time greatest Disney lounges. I would rank it up there with Trader Sam's and Olga's Canteen because there's so much to do here. They have Yeehaw Bob on a stage back here doing nightly performances with the piano and he's amazing. And they used to actually do like adult Disney trivia in here and it was so cool. I don't think they're doing the Disney trivia yet but Yeehaw Bob is back and one night I definitely gotta come and catch a show. Right now the River Roost is closed down and it opens up probably around 4 o'clock-ish I would think. But you can always just come in here, sit down right next to the fireplace or even just kind of hang out over here. This is like the main bar area and this is where we used to always do like our fun like festivities like seeing Yeeha Bob and playing trivia. And look at the bar itself, it says River Roost right in the middle there. Such a nice little spot. Right now, Volk Rites, which is the main sit-down restaurant that's at the resort, isn't open, but you can still get food options, probably from the quick service, or you can actually get things here at the River Roost. They do have like wings and small appetizer plates, and uh, the place that I'm excited to go eat is French Quarter, which is on the other side of the resort, and that's where they have like the jambalaya, the gumbo, the Mickey beignets. That, that's the stuff. That's what calls me. Right here is a restaurant that's not open at the moment and they called it Boat Rights because it has this gigantic boat inside and it was so cool. I actually ate here uh, not like long before it shut down and it actually gives you a whole bunch of history about the boat itself because it was really a boat like you know what I mean so so fun and fascinating. There are two different sections over here at Port Orleans Riverside. There's Alligator Bayou and then there's Magnolia Bend and both of them are absolutely amazing and so different and they're all special in their own way. So I'm going to give you a walk around and show you both of the areas and some of the recreation if it's open and then we're going to stroll on over to French Quarter and I'll show you all the resort amenities over there plus the Mickey beignets. I think that's like the biggest thing for me and just kind of enjoy a leisurely day here at the resort. Right outside the Riverside Mill they have the boat transportation and you can actually take this to some other resorts or down to Disney Springs and it launches right here in the middle section. I can actually take a boat over to French Quarter I believe so we might actually look at that option only because it's a nice boat ride and they've got their own uh, boat like fleet here and you can go past Old Key West, Saratoga Springs. It's, it's actually very pretty. I think we'll start over in Alligator Bayou and then make our way around. If you guys have ever stayed here before, let me know in the comments what your favorite section is. Do you know what I mean? Is it Alligator Bayou, Magnolia Bend, or did you like staying over at French Quarter? I know they have princess themed rooms, like Princess Tiana rooms, and those are like really, really special. And uh, I just kind of like overall like the resorts, like a two for one because the resorts are so close to like together. You have Riverside and French Quarter. 
this way to Alligator Bayou and Old Man's Island and Magnolia Bend. Gotta cross a nice fancy little bridge. And just look at the whole area here. Isn't it just beautiful? Like everything is like really, really well detailed. I remember actually doing the Surrey bike rides here and even going fishing. They have like a fishing hole. I wonder if that stuff is open yet because that, that's the stuff that I love about the resort. Right here is the main pool area and here is a look at some of the recreation activities that they have. Uh, it says movies under the stars and they also have Mickey tie-dye. Ooh, they do trivia, uh, trivia night at the Muddy Rivers pool bar, but it doesn't look like they brought back the main trivia though. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, this one actually at Old Man's Island, that might actually be a fun trivia to do as well. And of course, you don't want to forget about the campfire on the bayou, 5.30 to 6.30, where you get some s'mores and a little campfire on the bayou. I also believe this resort has the most like lounges and different places to actually eat too as well because they have so many different like uh, lounges around the park, if you include French Quarter as well. Right here is Muddy Rivers. This is another lounge area right next to the pool. And this spot was always fun to actually hang out at as well. And then I think along this pathway here, this is where the fishing hole used to be. So I wanna go check that out and see if it's there. But I remember riding my Surrey bike through here. It was so much fun. And I actually got the Surrey bike, uh, like they gave it to uh, the winners of Trivia Night. So like it was like a prize that we actually won. Sadly, looks like the fishing hole isn't open. It's open 7 a.m. to 1.45, and it's 2 o'clock now, and uh, it's $15.98 per half an hour, which isn't too bad. I mean, $15 per half an hour, and it's a good fishing spot. You actually get a lot of good catch and release over there, and they got a little chart that shows you all the fishes that you can actually catch. I can't get a good look at it, but it's right there. This was always so fun, and definitely something you want to do to keep yourself entertained. I'm not too sure if it's like officially open or if it's just closed because of the hours because we're here so late in the day. I'll have to find out. Maybe I'll ask somebody if I see them walking around. Another thing that I love about this resort is how like excluded the rooms are. Like it's actually out in the woods and it's very beautiful over here. Now this is on Alligator Bayou side. There's nothing really close to the main lobby. I would say that maybe one of these buildings right here is the closest one to the main lobby. But uh, yeah, I mean they have a little distance. So we're gonna actually just walk this pathway right here. And we're gonna show you some of the buildings for Alligator Bayou and then uh, actually lead right into Magnolia Bend. Whenever I say Alligator Bayou, I just immediately think of Bobby Boucher. I don't know why, it just goes hand in hand and it kind of just makes me laugh, you know what I mean? Right here are the Alligator Bayou Lodges and it looks like it's uh, 24 to 28. Like, don't you love them? It looks so beautiful. Wait till I show you the other ones over here. Now, these ones are kind of cool because I like the color. It kind of matches in with the woods and everything like that. But the Magnolia Bay, uh, like bend over here, is so glamorous. It's like a perfect spot to take like photos. I'll show you. You, if you've seen it, you know. <laughs> I always like to try to keep a theme whenever I go out and do a video with like my t-shirts and I couldn't really think of anything. I don't have any Princess and the Frog uh, shirts, which I actually should get. And since we're going to the French Quarter, uh, I know that there's a lot of Jokers over there. So I ended up wearing my Jokers, uh, my Joker Roosevelt. You know what I mean? I know Batman and it's funny though because uh, I was trying to think like when I got this shirt, like where I can actually, you know, put it to like a theming in one of the videos. It's not like I'm going to Six Flags every day. So I think it kind of fits in, you know, Joker, Jokers, you know. This resort is one of the few resorts that allow pets here at Walt Disney World. So that's why I like it even more and more of a reason for me to come stay. And here is Magnolia Bend. And I think if I like did stay here, I'm not too sure where the pet friendly rooms are. I would want to stay here. Like, it is so beautiful, isn't it? This is what I was talking about when I said, like, you can come here and take photos. Like, you know what I mean? Like, special, like, graduation photos or even engagement photos. And it'll just look stunning. I love the staircases. And every building over here is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you uh, a couple of them and let you, like, you know, get a good look-see of them. Because I really think it is just quite beautiful. 
another thing I forgot to talk about uh, other than the uh, Surrey Bites and the uh, fishing hole for recreation they also have uh, horse trolleys here and I hear that the horse trolleys are actually gonna be running again come December and they're gonna like have like a holiday one and you can pay to actually go around on a horse buggy and it'll take you from Riverside to French Quarter and it's just so it's it's really really awesome it's definitely something you want to experience I have done that before as well like I said I think I've done every single activity here at Port Orleans and it's so crazy because I've never stayed here I just came and visited as a local and just had fun now if you can't park here you can always take the boats from Disney Springs and they'll actually bring you right over here but normally if you just come here and say hey uh, I just want to grab something to eat or rent a Surrey bike they'll just let you in they're not really strict like uh, uh, the Magic Kingdom uh, loop resort like the magic kingdom resorts on the loop they're very hard to park at you need a reservation but here it's not so bad you know what i mean the reason i brought up the horses because i saw these actually outside one of the buildings and i was like oh yeah i don't want to forget about the horses <laughs> oh there goes one of the boat launches right there another thing i want to point out is i think that this resort actually has the most pools as well between like this is adding in the french quarter and riverside together and here we are, another section of Magnolia Bend. And isn't it just like, I, honestly, I just can't get over it. These are resort rooms. You actually stay in these rooms. And look at this grassy knoll with the fountain and the trees. It is so beautiful here. I really love it. I just love being here. This must be where some of the princess rooms are at because you can actually see uh, little princess symbols right there. I would assume. I don't know though, because I've never been inside them. I think we covered a lot of area over here at Riverside. So maybe we should be making our way over to French Quarter so we can get the beignets and the jambalaya and the gumbo and all the works. And I'm thinking maybe take a boat. I think it'll be fun. The walk's not too far. It's like really close. Like I would say maybe five, maybe 10 minutes. And uh, I don't know, I just think uh, going uh, on a nice little boat ride, the Sasagula boat, it would be fun. You know what I mean? So we're gonna actually cross another bridge. We basically just did a big circle. You know what I mean? Like, so if you uh, actually look, we started off right over there by boat rights and we just made a big circle around the resort. Now there's still much more like to cover, but uh, like I said, I'm trying to squeeze everything in there all at once. That's the bridge we first crossed, if you could see all the way down there. And this is the bridge where we are crossing to get back over to the main lobby area. So I just actually made my way over to the recreation area and they are doing the Surrey bikes and the fishing hole is open. It's just we got there and it's closed. They also do private fishing excursions for bass out of these boats right here. And that's really cool. That's something I would love to do. Oh, it says take me fishing right on there. So I'll take you out and you can just do some fishing from there. Oh, and I think our, uh, I think our boat's coming. So we're gonna head on down there so we can make our way over to French Quarter. Here is a good look at the whole entire Sasagula River. We are right here and it takes you down to French Quarter, to Old Key West, to Saratoga Springs, to Disney Springs West Side, the landing and the marketplace. Such a little fun adventure, right? First stop is French Quarter, so we're actually going to hop off uh, and not actually take the full route. But I just love being on the boat. Now we are in French Quarter and I love it. That little boat ride probably took like three minutes and walking here probably is like five minutes, but it's nice to get like a good uh, view of the resort as you're actually going on the boat. Like I was able to show you a lot more of the buildings at Mandolia Bend and I kind of like it. It's like nice and relaxing. 
Right here are the room buildings for Port Orleans French Quarter. And these are just as beautiful. Like I said, they're all like special and unique in their own way. And I don't know, it's, it's a toss up. I do love these, but I do love Magnolia Bend as well. So I'm not too sure which one I would like a lot more. I do have to say, I feel like French Quarter is more of an adult-oriented resort. Like, I think it's probably the most adult-oriented resort at Walt Disney World. I mean, it's based off Mardi Gras and uh, the French Quarter and everything like that. It's very quiet, and I don't know, I just kind of really like the atmosphere. You can hear some really cool music. They have the Scat Cat. Uh, Scat Cat Lounge, which is basically like a really cool place to go check out some jazz music. I don't know if that's open yet. I'll have to keep an eye out. But uh, yeah, we're going to show you around a little bit. First, I want to actually head this way and show you a little bit of the Serpent Pool area. And I like actually seeing all the alligators as you're walking by. Look at this guy. Just the way he's looking at you. It's so fun. It's so really, I, I love it over here. It is such an amazing resort. Right here is another lounge area or a poolside bar. It's the Mardi Gras, and this is the Serpent Pool here. I don't want to show you too much because there's people actually in there swimming, but there's a gigantic serpent slide in there, and it's so awesome. I was actually looking for this earlier. Here is a directory or a map of the whole entire Port Orleans resort, even with French Quarter included. And you can see it is massive. Like this resort is huge. Here is all the Alligator Bayou. And then they actually have the Magnolia Bend here. And then all the way down here, this is where we are. And this is French Quarter. So you can see, I mean, this is a massive resort. I ran into a friend who was staying here and they actually made me something and I kind of want to show you guys because it's so cute and it's tis the season. But take a look at these. Isn't that so awesome? I love it. It's little Mickey ornaments but with fedoras on and they got me one and they got Gracie one. So thank you to the O'Brien family. It was so nice of you to actually give me these. I love them. I can't wait to hang them on my tree uh, once I actually get it all up. Now I kind of want to show you a little bit of the different building areas because they're all pretty and then we'll go in and check the lobby out and then get something to eat. Man oh man the theming is just so amazing. I love how the walkways are like little tiny streets and this is Jazz Alley and they have these fountains and gazebos and nice areas to just come and relax. I would love waking up and actually just having a cup of coffee here and just like enjoying vacation. You know, every time I come to resorts like this, I just kind of try to relive my times vacationing to Walt Disney World. You know, when I came down for like a week or two and waking up early, getting a Disney coffee at like Pop Century, it was one of the greatest feelings ever. And then getting all excited about your day, going to ride rides and enjoying all the magic of Walt Disney World. Fun fact, and this is a really, really awesome fact, I actually never watched like Disney YouTube uh, before I came on vacation. I never watched any videos or anything like that or any other vloggers. And the first video that I've ever like watched, like a Disney like video, was here at French Quarter because I wanted to stay here. I wanted to stay at French Quarter and it was somebody just going around doing exactly what I'm doing right now and pointing out things and uh, I wanted to stay here but I couldn't afford it and I kept on looking at it and watching that video and like thinking like all right I love it here and I'm gonna have to try to find a way to make this work and it got me so excited and I was using it like as a comparison to be if it's worth it or not I wish I knew who that like video was like they weren't actually talking uh it was just kind of like pov and then they would have like things just like written over and i don't know who it was like i'll, I'll never be able to find it again but uh yeah that was my first like disney video it was here at french quarter that's the first thing i ever watched now we're making our way back on over to the lobby so i can show you and then uh sasagula float works to get our mickey beignets and gumbo i always love eating here i used to actually just come and uh just have dinner here like i remember like two years ago i used to just be like you know what i'm in the mood for jambalaya and gumbo and i used to just swing on over here is the main lobby area and it looks like they got their Christmas trees up as well. I remember this because they have like four Christmas trees in all the corners. They don't have a tall Christmas uh, tree because they have a fountain in the middle, but they have four little tiny bitty ones and I like them. 
I think we'll actually go in through Jackson Square Gifts and Desires and then make kind of like a U-shape into the lobby and then over to Floatworks. Right here at Jackson Square and this is where they sell most of the merchandise for the resort. Like the little souvenir shop, you know? They used to have a cool like uh, pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern uh, scavenger hunt in here. I don't think they do that anymore. And uh, lots of uh, Princess Tiana stuff. Look at this is a Port Orleans shirt right here and Princess Tiana on it and then they've got some mugs. I like these. These are really cute actually. I might want to get one. And take a look at this shirt right here. Okay first Mickey beignets. That is that is literally Port Orleans summed up right there. <laughs> I really really like it. And now we're making our way into the lobby area. And one thing I have to say about the lights actually for Christmas, they're always so bright here. Look at that, it's daytime out right now. And I love it in here. The smell is amazing. This is so, so cool. The beignets and the gumbo and jambalaya are actually in separate locations. So I think we're gonna have the gumbo and jambalaya first because we wanna save the beignets for dessert. Right over here is the Scat Cats Club Cafe. This is where they actually sell the beignets. And over there is where the jazz like club was, the Scat Cats Club. And I actually like going in there, but we're gonna actually go over to the Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory. And this is where we're gonna get our uh, gumbo or jambalaya, or maybe both to make some uh, jumbo. Jumbo. Oh, they also have a prime rib dip here. Oh, there are so many offerings. It looks like they actually added a couple of new items to the menu since the last time I was here. They've got some pizza, they got some pasta, they've got Walt Disney's chili in a bread bowl. Lots of amazing items, but it's all about the gumbo and the jambalaya for me. Now we've got ourselves the gumbo and the jambalaya, and it's time to eat. I've been waiting like a good two years for this. And here it is. This is the gumbo right here and then the jambalaya right over here. The portion sizes aren't really like that big. It's like a scoop of jambalaya, a scoop of rice in here, and then a ladle of gumbo. But it's also not that very expensive. I think they're $9 a piece. And uh, I'm excited. I usually like to mix this with that like together and make it like a, a gumbo laya, a jambalaya gumbo, like play on words. And it, it actually tastes really good. Yeah, this is definitely different from the last time I had it. They have a lot more sausage in there, but it looks so good, doesn't it? Oh, I've been waiting two years for this. It's also why I waited to come here until the end, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat a lot of food here. And plus, the Mickey beignets, I think they get sold into like threes, so we're only gonna eat probably one of them and then take the rest home with us. I don't think you can get like a single Mickey beignet. I think you have to get three of them. But we're gonna try the gumbo first with a little bit, a big piece of sausage in there. Now it's time for the jambalaya. And the gumbo, the gumbo has like a medium spice level. It's not that spicy. And the same thing with the jambalaya. It's not spicy at all. Uh, I'm not too sure which one I like more. Like I said, I like to mix them together and that's what I like more. But we're gonna just take little bites of each one to taste it individually first. I'm pretty sure the jambalaya has chicken and sausage in it. <laughs> this is some good stuff. Now it's time to make some gumbo. That's the way. <laughs> that is the way right there. <laughs> I also love just hearing the jazz music in here as you're eating. It really adds to the vibes. This for the longest time was my number one favorite quick service location, other than the Polite Pig, which I think the Polite Pig should be actually a sit down service because it's so good. But like as a food like lobby or a cafeteria, like none of the other resorts can compete with this. Like, you know what I mean? It is so, so good and so different. But now it's time for the beignet business. 
here are the uh, menu or the pricing for the beignets. You can see it is three beignets for $6.99, six beignets for $10.99, and then you can get some dipping sauces. They also have the Baton Rouge beignets, which these are kind of like boozy beignets. They have uh, Baileys inside of it or rum chata. I've had those before. They have a Mickey shaped beignet sundae. Like, just so many good stuff. Oh, specialty beignets. I wonder what those are. The Jazz Club, which is the entrance right behind me, used to actually give out free beignets, like as long as you were buying drinks. I remember that, like, as one of the biggest draws that come over here. And I would sit there and I'd order a drink and then they'd bring over free beignets. But I think they only did that for pass holders, if I'm, like, correct. Here are the specialty beignets. They have a chocolate one, a cinnamon sugar one, and then a raspberry one right there. But I just went with the classics. Stick to the classics. I decided to bring my beignets outside next to Jackson Square because they have nice little tables there and it's beautiful. You can hear the music and you're outside. You know what I mean? And just take a look at these delicious little things. <laughs> like I said, you can only get uh, three is the lowest amount. You can get uh, one of the specialty beignets, but I wanted to get the classics. And I actually got a little beignet bubble on this one. Kind of looks like it's a third Mickey year, doesn't it? A beignet bubble. <laughs> that sounds really fancy. And lots of powdered sugar. Beignets can be quite the mess when you're eating them, especially with the powdered sugar, like it runs all over the place. And I was trying to take some fancy photos with them. I actually got a whole bunch of different dipping sauces. I think they give you chocolate, caramel, and strawberry. And I tried to set them up inside like the little area where the Mickey beignets are. And I lifted them up and I spilt the sauce all over. I was really trying to make them look look photogenic and look I ended up spilling the sauces all over the place so that's the strawberry that's the caramel and this is the chocolate down here I'm gonna try to yep there we go it's like little hot sauces too and uh, I don't know which way should we start I was gonna actually just like individually like do each one and try each sauce I'm not gonna eat all three of the beignets but this is all you can order them as and uh, and they're really hot and fresh like they actually make them right there so i don't know i'm excited <laughs> now there is a proper technique to actually eat in the beignets you just gotta kind of pull them outwards and then kind of eat them like this and then that way all the sugar falls down on the ground it doesn't fall on your shirt and i'm gonna try to do that first i think we're gonna actually crack one open though because i'm gonna show you what they look like on the inside i'm always excited about that i took this one this is gonna be our tester, the one that's got the, the beignet bubble on it. So we're actually gonna zoom in a little bit. And there we go. Now we're gonna break it. We're gonna break the beignet. Oh wow, it shouldn't be that easy, but it is. Look at that. <laughs> I'm excited to try these. <laughs> that video clip just ended but I didn't want to shut it off. So I'm going to have to trim it out because I've got powdered sugar and I don't want to touch the buttons. You don't want sticky buttons. So we're just going to, we're going to eat the beignet now. Are you ready? This is how we do it. Like this. They are so airy and fresh and hot and I love it. Now we're going to try the strawberry sauce first. I'm going to pick that up right there use what we already spilt. That seems the best way. The strawberry sauce is cold, but I'm sure you can actually heat it up. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna take the other ear and we're gonna try the caramel sauce. The caramel sauce over here. A little duckability. These are so messy. Uh oh, don't spill that. <laughs> The strawberry sauce was good. Now, uh, like I said, we're gonna try the caramel. Mmm. Okay, I like the caramel one better than the strawberry one. Now we have to try to get the chocolate one. I feel like this poor Mickey beignet has been compromised. It has been compromised. See, I wanted to take these home, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to since I got sauce all over them. And I don't want to bite into another Mickey beignet right now. So we're going to scoot it out of the way. And I'm going to come over here. Oh, Mickey beignet down! I lost it. It touched the table. Oh, well. That poor unfortunate soul. Looks like I'm only taking one beignet home. I'm going to put it over here to be extra cautious. There we go. 
And that's the way. I can't believe I lost a beignet. Never lost a beignet on duty before, but today was the day. Ooh, this one has a little strawberry on it too, so it's like a chocolate covered strawberry beignet. I think I did a pretty good job here. No powdered sugar. I got a little bit on my knee though. Just a little bit right there. Not too shabby. Overall, my favorite dipping sauce was probably the caramel. Caramel, then the chocolate, then the strawberry. The caramel though was very, very good. I'm not even kidding you guys, but there is a B after my beignets. It was just on the table and I'm afraid to move because for some reason the bees kind of like to hang around me but there was a bee chasing my beignet if you go back inside they'll give you a beignet bag a lot of bees today we got bees on the beignets and we got the beignet bags and the bubble beignets it breaks my heart to do it but i have to say goodbye beignet bye bye beignet the bee almost had you all that powdered sugar and spilt sauces now it's time to start making our way back over to Riverside. That's where I actually parked my car, so I think I'm gonna walk over this time since we took the boat over the first time. Uh, nice little scenic walk, you know, might as well. Nice little walk on over to Port Orleans, a good way to work off those beignets. This little courtyard right here must be where they do movies under the stars. I mean, it'd be a perfect setting for it. Also, I kind of like that fountain. I want to take a look see here they got some really nice fountains over at uh, port orleans i have to say oh this one is very fancy well, you can see some coins in there too Oop. and then look at the surrey bite says follow me to port orleans riverside wow look at this i keep on finding all these amazing places and they're just kind of just little like courtyard hangout spots. But this is so beautiful right now with the sun peeking in. I gotta come explore. <laughs> I love it. Little frogs. This is really awesome. Made our way back down to the river bend. Look at this boat flying through here. Oh boy. Bye. Have a good day. Oh, look at that wake. <laughs> And now we are back at Riverside. It was only like a two minute walk actually. It wasn't that far at all. And uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for us. I had so much fun today. Kind of just hanging out here. I've been here for a couple hours just kind of roaming around and enjoying the resort. I love it so much. And being able to ride the boats. One day I wanna come back and just ride the boat and visit all the resorts, you know what I mean? Kind of like stop here at Port Orleans Riverside, then go to French Quarter, Old Key West, Saratoga, and then Disney Springs and then take it all the way back. It'd be a fun little adventure. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.